ever since they entered service in large numbers with different militaries in the 1940s, 50s period. Helicopters have been an indispensable tool of war and peace. Whether it is casualty evacuation, troop transport, disaster relief, or airborne fire support, helicopters are at the center of it all. The technology used in helicopters has grown to such a level that it is now possible to make hybrid helicopter aeroplanes, advanced attack helicopters, and super heavy transports. Number 5. The Boeing CH-47 Chinook Developed during the Vietnam and survives to this day in a modern avatar, the CH-47 Chinook has a unique tandem rotor design which allows maximum utilization of the power generated by the engines to lift the helicopter. Since there is no tail rotor, all the power is sent to the main rotors which rotate in opposite directions at different elevations. This gives the Chinook the ability to carry large payloads to high altitudes. With the ability to carry 24,000 pound load underslung and 20,000 pounds inside the cabin, or alternatively, 55 troops seated internally, the Chinook is a massive flying truck. One of the mind-blowing stunts that the Chinook can perform is a water extraction known as a Delta Queen maneuver unofficially. This basically involves the Chinook touching down on the water surface, opening its rear ramp door, and allowing water to flood in so that a special forces boat can smoothly ride into the helicopter to be safely lifted out of water. The other move for which the Chinook is famous for is the pinnacle maneuver, which involves insertion and extraction of troops from a cliff ledge with only the rear wheels touching the ground while the helicopter is hovering. This rugged heavy lifter is expected to remain in service till the 2060s. That is 100 years after it first flew. Number four, the Sikorsky S4 Sky Crane. Well, who would have thought you could make a crane fly? Well, that is precisely what the designers at Sikorsky had in mind while designing the Sikorsky S64 Sky Crane. Built like a skeleton, this weird-looking contraption can haul massive loads underneath its seemingly delicate frame. The large area between its tall legs has a crane which can lift a bulky payload weighing as much as 25,000 pounds with ease. During the Vietnam War, the military version, designated as the CH-54 Tari, was used to retrieve over 380 downed military aircrafts. It saved millions of dollars as doing the same using other methods was far more expensive. It was also used to transport tanks, trucks, and troops. Another unique application was in the carrying of universal military pod containers, which could be adapted for purposes like surgical units based on their requirement. Number three, the Sikorsky CH-53 Stallion. This is the largest helicopter in the U.S. inventory with a payload capacity of over 14,000 pounds for the initial twin-engine version, it could haul an equivalent weight of four fully-grown rhinos. The U.S. military uses this helicopter for troop transport, special forces insertion, casualty evacuation, and to lift heavy vehicles like trucks. The CH-53, being a primarily main helicopter, has a watertight hull which enables it to land safely on water in an emergency situation. The earliest variants entered service during the Vietnam War, and the most recent variant will now enter production. And this again proves the longevity of American helicopter designs. Number two, the Boeing AH-64 Apache. Widely accepted as the most advanced attack helicopter in service today, the Apache has formed the backbone of U.S. military ground operations for over three decades. It was developed as a replacement for the AH-1 in the U.S. Army. In a bid to make it survivable on a dangerous battlefield, the Apache has armor which allows it to withstand hits from 23mm anti-aircraft guns and a self-sealing fuel tank which prevents leakage of fuel in case the tank is hit. Armed with 16 Hellfire missiles, the Apache is the ultimate task buster. These advanced missiles are guided by laser and can destroy targets at distances of over 5 miles. 
Alternately, it can carry rocket pods to engage unarmored targets. There is a 30 millimeter cannon under the nose, which can fire at a rate of 300 rounds per minute. Stinger missiles can be fitted as well, which allow the Apache to destroy serial targets. In the late 90s, the Longbow radar was installed, which allowed the Apache to take out targets from behind cover without exposing itself to the enemy. The helicopter is thus an all-around weapon system which can wreak havoc on the battlefield. Number one, the Bell V-22 Osprey. The Osprey is the ultimate transformer and is something straight out of a sci-fi movie. While taking off, it looks like a helicopter with side-by-side -side propellers. Nothing unusual there, but the magic starts a few seconds later after it lifts off from the ground like a normal helicopter. The rotor blades start to tilt forward with the wing, and as your jaw drops, the helicopter is now a twin propeller aeroplane. This transformer technology is not just a visual treat, but it has an immense practical value as well. That's why the U.S. military is operating this aircraft and has ordered several hundreds of them. The V-22 in aircraft mode can travel twice as fast as a regular helicopter. This gives it a major advantage while transporting troops over hostile territory, while bringing back injured troops, while carrying out disaster relief operations, and conducting special forces insertion missions.